Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. So today's video is actually going to be a little vlog that I did this past weekend on Saturday. We went to Six Flags and it was Ostomy Awareness Day. So I have some clips, you know, from the intro I started, but as usual, when I go on these day trips, I just get sidetracked and I don't really film a whole lot of talking. So I'll do some of the explaining as I'm sitting here. And I'm sorry that this video is coming out a little later than I wanted to. I try to stick to a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday schedule, but it's just been a very, like, heavy week. <laughs> And I don't think I'm the only one, just like personally and the whole world. Just a lot of negative things have happened this week. And uh, it makes it really hard for me to make videos and be kind of peppy and want to be on camera. So, um, but I didn't want to let this, you know, sit for too long and not share it because I had a great World Ostomy Day and I had so much fun. Dealt with the little annoying thing. I had some issues with my ostomy bag leaking and not in a way that is normal. So it's making me rethink my whole ostomy situation. But um, yeah, I wanted to share this vlog with you. So let me show you the second intro that I did that day. Hey guys, good morning. It's Maggie and I am back today. Today is a special day. First of all, we're doing something exciting that I'm really looking forward to, but also it's Ostomy Awareness Day. So what better thing to do on Ostomy Awareness Day than to do something I enjoy because now I can because I'm not searching for bathrooms all the time. So we are going to go to Great Adventure Six Flags. I've been going there since I was very little. My mom used to take my brother and I, and um, if you don't know, I love roller coasters. I have loved them for a very long time, but some of my first memories of like the first time I went on a roller coaster, I remember being sick. Like I remember not feeling well and it was at Six Flags. Now this was before I had an ostomy, but I was diagnosed with Crohn's um, and I was having a lot of trouble with my rectum. So, you know, as much as I had fun, it was, I just, I just always remember going to the bathroom like at least 10 times during the day which honestly for me at the time was not much <laughs> that's a low number um but then once i got my ostomy i remember the first time going to an amusement park with the plan of going on coasters and just being terrified like can i even get on a coaster with my stoma and even more so i was worried about going through security and uh, so I had a protective belt and I remember the security guard, you know, looking through my backpack. I was so worried they were going to wonder what the belt was in my backpack and they didn't care. They didn't care. And it got right through. And as time went on and I continued to ride roller coasters, I got brave and found that, you know, where my stoma is personally, no pressure is placed with any of the bars, you know, whether they go over your shoulders or if it's just a lap bar. It doesn't seem to hit my stoma at all and basically as long as my bag is close to being empty it can fill up a little bit I'm good to go and I'm just thrilled that I get to enjoy this and I'm not constantly searching for the bathroom like yes I have to go to the bathroom during the day I have to deal with my ostomy at some point but it's so much better than how it was. I love amusement parks during this time of the year. We were super pumped to go. Zach and I were like, we were ready. We are in the car and we've got Zeekers here. <laughs> we are heading to our friend's house to pick them up now and that's only like five minutes away from us. So what are you most looking forward to? Oh, I'm stumped. Uh, there's. I think just the overall ambiance of the Halloween, fall, October festivities uh, for the seasonal events. Actually, I'm still stuck between Oktoberfest or the um, Fright Fest. I think probably, I mean, the Fright Fest is probably more fun. Do you but, think people are walking around throughout the whole day, or do you think it's at just night. at it's night? It's like Bush Gardens. Oh, Once okay. night falls, then yeah, the ghosts come out at night. The ghosts come out at night. <laughs> What coaster are you most I know, excited for? I know, that was the next thing I was thinking of. That's what I'm thinking um, of. I actually really like Medusa. That was my favorite. That it's was one of the favorite. smoothest, cleanest. It's a long ride. It's got a lot to it and not too crowded. 
Um, King to Ka is fast and fun, but it's fast and dumb. I don't like. I don't ride that ride anymore. I'm too <laughs> old for King. The to Jersey Ka. Devil is always a blast. That That's is, a new, yeah. real goodie. And the Joker is just funny. It's like we laughed the whole time we were on it last time. So, but yeah, the Jersey Devil is a like a single row coaster, and I don't think the coaster stops. Like you have to jump on really quick, yeah. and they strap you in, and then it takes off. So. It should be a pretty good day. Um, we've Get got a snack on the ride and yeah. some coof. Yeah, I just took loperamide because my ostomy is, it's been a little more active this morning. I'm kind of disappointed that it's acting that way, but it's okay. I, I don't know if the loperamide is going to do anything, but I figured I had it right here in the car, so I, I took some of that. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, we'll get something to eat in a little bit and then it's about an hour ride there so it's usually pretty quick and honestly this time of year is the best it seems we tend to not go in the height of the season for you know roller coaster places um you know when it's warm out and sunny out we like to go specifically when it is partly rainy because if you get lucky enough it only rains a little bit but no one else wants to be there because it's raining and they're afraid that it's gonna rain all day. And that we've gotten so many good days out of partly rainy days at a park. Cause no one goes and the lines are super short and that's exactly what we had this day. It was like optimal. As we were walking in, we were so excited cause we saw barely any cars in the parking lot and you know, no lines in the roller coasters. There's this one roller coaster that's basically built on the parking lot of Six Flags. It's Superman. It's my first coaster ever. And yeah, they had all of their Halloween decor out, which was really fun. This is my favorite month, my favorite time of year. Um, and yesterday was our anniversary. I wish I could tell you guys that we did something exciting, but we were dealing with township nonsense yesterday. So uh, it just, it's been a really weird, bummer week. I don't know. As we got into the park though, my ostomy had kind of gone a little bit crazy because we got some lunch on the way there and I went into the bathroom to deal with that and realized that my ostomy was leaking from the ring. So where the bag clicks into the ring, it's, it's like it I don't know. It's like they're not perfectly made for each other. So if my output is too watery, it just seeps out. It just seeps out and you know, I'll try putting on a new bag and hope that that works and it'll still seep out. So I tried to clean underneath of my flange. It winds up going all down like the wafer, the flange on the fabric portion. And I try to clean it, but you can never get it fully clean unless you're in the shower. So I was ticked from the beginning and it was like that all day and I had to keep trying to clean it. There was nothing I can do. I mean, I could change the whole appliance, but I would have had to go back to the car and I was like, I was just irritated. So I am thinking about fully switching to Convitec because I use, I use Convitec and Hollister about 50, 50 and this has happened enough with my Hollister flanges. It's like the quality has just gone down and they don't fit together. Right. Um, so I think I'm just gonna completely switch over. I'm just, I don't, I don't wanna get grossness on my clothes and that's what's happening and I don't wanna have to worry about it when I am trying to enjoy roller coasters. That was the whole point of World Ostomy Day is not to have to worry about my ostomy and then I wound up worrying about it all freaking day. And I didn't even tell Zach or our friend that came with us. Um, I didn't say anything because I was like, no, I'm enjoying this day. Anyways, by the end of the day, we had gotten so many roller coasters and we went on, if you're familiar with Six Flags, uh, great adventure in New Jersey. We got on Medusa twice, like back to back. We went on El Toro twice. That one, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I realize I don't like being in the back of that ride. Um, they went on King Nika. I, that's one ride I don't do anymore because I, I get tunnel vision and like, it's not worth it to me. It's not fun. It's short. So I don't bother with it. And then we went on the ride. I don't remember the name of it, but it drops down in between King to Ka. Went on that. That was cool, but terrifying because King to Ka came up over us as we dropped. 
So the whole thing was shaking and rattling and super loud. We went on Skull Mountain, Dark Knight, Batman, Superman, Green Lantern was absolutely awful and that's another ride I will never go on again. If you like the, uh, the history of amusement parks, it's one of the things that I watch a lot on YouTube. The ride that used to be where Green Lantern is was the Great American Scream Machine and that thing smashed your head around. I used to ride it a lot because it never had a line. Like my friends and I were always going to the Great American Scream Machine because it was just open. And there's a reason, it's because it absolutely destroys your head. You will leave with a headache. Well, I think the spot where it is is cursed because Green Lantern that replaced it, same problem. <laughs> I was ticked. I was like, that was the worst ride. Like, I think it might have been worse than Great American Scream Machine, but whatever. What else did we go on? I'm trying to think of the other coasters there. Jersey Devil, that's one of my favorites. Um, so we went on that. I think there's only a few that we didn't go on, and that was... We didn't go on the Joker. I really wanted to, but by the end of the day, we weren't really feeling great. Our stomachs were so shaken up. <laughs> but I really, I hope next time we can go on it. It's such a funny roller coaster because you're kind of thrown around. We went on Nitro, of course. Uh, yeah, we just had a great time. Like, I love roller coasters. It's a lot of fun to me. And of course, as it started to get dark, the park picked up a lot because they do Fright Fest. And they did have Oktoberfest there too, but we actually didn't wind up doing either of them. The lines for Fright Fest were just insane, so unless you had a skip the line pass, I don't know, I don't think it would have been worth it. Um, I would rather go to a haunted house that is not part of a theme park. So we didn't do that, and the Oktoberfest was kind of small. They basically just put signs on their already there food places. They like rebranded, but it was the same food, so it was basically not Oktoberfesty foods. We didn't think it was worth it. Anyways, like I said, it's getting dark out, so all of their actors come out and they start scaring you. Um, I wasn't actually targeted this time though, because there were a lot of younger kids there, like teenagers and uh, preteens, so I think the guys were going after them. And then to finish the night, we were really tired. We had walked a ton, got great exercise. We wound up watching a show, and it was just, it was like a Fright Fest themed show where they had dancing and singing. So that was kind of cool. We watched that for a little bit. And then we went out to dinner at another place. That was our day. It was, it was a lot of fun. We had a really great time. It was definitely a long day. Definitely had to recover on Sunday. And then, you know, with the weekend events going on in the world and just personal stuff going on, it has been just a lot this week, so that's why I am kind of behind on videos. Kind of like I said in the beginning, I struggle a lot to make videos when I am low. <laughs> so it's just a little difficult for me to get in front of a camera. I don't know. I keep putting the news on even though I don't want to, but I also want to know. And that's why I'm not wearing mascara today because, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to last long. It's just a weird freaking time. So if you're feeling low, you're not the only one. Anyways, guys, I, I want to keep making videos, though, because sometimes I think they act as a distraction, not just for me, but for, you know, somebody who might be watching it. Um, but if you're sad right now, you're not the only one, so... <laughs> <laughs> we can be sad together. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon, hopefully in a little bit better spirits. Um, but yes, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.